Hi there, welcome to a new video. So a few days ago Ableton just dropped my f my favorite update so far for Ableton Move, which is 1.5.0. Everybody's been talking about sampling, which is a great addition to me. This is now more like a sampler uh, about the auto filter. Those has been the two main additions according to everybody, but one addition that's low key is my favorite one is being able to send MIDI data individually to all tracks because now I can use my Lobation Launchpad Pro to play all tracks at once. So I don't even have to touch able to move if I don't want to. I mean, it, lo it looks like it makes no sense, but bear with me because Novation Launchpad has many features that are awesome. It's a few years old device, but it's still very relevant. So what can you do with it? If you go to the sequencer part, then you have four tracks, just like you have four tracks in able to move. If you go into shift and each one of the tracks here, you'll see that you can choose which MIDI channel is listening to. In this case, it's listening to MIDI channel one for track one, MIDI channel two for track two, MIDI channel three for track three, and MIDI channel four for track four. That makes sense, right? So now this one is sending MIDI channel one for track one, two for two, three for three, four for four. I always keep the trance in the track one and then so forth. So why would you even want to do that? In my opinion, it's because the sequencer here is pretty. If I play any of the pads here, you'll see that it corresponds to the correct pad. I can turn on the metronome here and I can record something that is playing on Novation Launchpad Pro. So I could do something like So now everything is playing from Novation, Novation Launchpad. It's not playing from able to move. I could go to track two here, still in track one here. And everything's still playing from here. I could go to track three. And that's my favorite feature now from able to move but let's keep digging the new update so i have here another bit and we're gonna add the auto filter and we're gonna get crazy with it so there are many modes for the auto filter this is like a dj one Low pass, high pass filter, you can control. You have like an envelope follower. And it can give some nice drive. the auto filter i don't have much to say about it really because that's in my opinion that's something you need to explore by yourself and find your sound so just for you to know that is a new effect it's also available in ableton live of course as everything from able to move and you know it's it's a filter with a very nice features but still it's something you need to find your sound for it there is a, the things that you will spec in a filter, the frequency, morph, type of filter, the drive, LFO, that what kind of LFO you have, the amount, the frequency, and how much you send 
to the filter. So that's about it. Um, you know, it's a very nice addition. You can get very dirty with it, but it can also produce very nice sounds. So, you know, just try it out yourself. It's a very nice addition to it. And the other thing is a sample slicing. And that is something I actually use a lot because I love sampling myself, especially when I'm playing the guitar. So I'm gonna open a new set and I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna play the metronome. So I have a reference. I'm gonna have a faster tempo. Let's go 135. And I'm just gonna sample with a microphone. Okay, so I'm gonna sample in this part, for example, why not? And now this is magic. You can press shift and then there will be a little one here. I don't know if you can see it, but you trust me with that. And you press it and then you have in the menu slice. So then you go for it. And it's gonna ask you how many slices you want to do. I'm gonna go for... And once you're happy with it, then you press OK and then it creates the slices.
as you see, you can get pretty creative with it and you can add layers, of course, all the good stuff that you can do in able to move. But yeah, those are my three main highlights for the new update. I think it's great that you can control every track individually and externally over MIDI. It's great to have this slicing feature and it's great to have this auto filter. So thank you very much Ableton. Keep working on this. It's becoming quite an amazing device. And thank you to you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.